Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. In this short tutorial video, I will show you how to add more storage capacity to your MacBook Pro 14 or 16 inch without paying more to Apple for a bigger SSD option. This video will be also helpful for all people out there who are running out of space on their MacBooks and need to have more storage capacity to keep backup files and data without having to purchase a new MacBook. In this video, I will show you a much better way to upgrade your MacBook storage capacity cheap, easy and fast. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. So as you already probably know, the internal Mac SSD upgrade is not possible once you already purchase your MacBook from Apple. Nowadays everything is glued inside your computer and there is no option to physically replace or remove your internal SSD like we used to have on some older MacBooks. To avoid this kind of problem, you can purchase a bigger storage capacity configuration machine, but it's super expensive. For example, simply going from a 1TB to a 2TB version will cost me 480 euros more and doubling the storage will cost me another 690 euros. It's crazy expensive and unfair. So you are already paying a pretty high price for your computer and you will not be even able to use its full potential because you have a small SSD. Unfortunately, it's just another way for Apple to improve its margin and profit. One of the existing solutions is to purchase an external SSD. For example, my 1TB Samsung T7 cost me around $100. The disadvantage of this method is the cable. You also have to remember to carry with you an external SSD every time you are leaving your home. Every time you want to use it, you have to plug it in. After the usage, you have to properly eject the drive and plug it out. Not the most convenient and easy way to have more storage just to keep more files and data on your Mac, without mentioning the possibility to lose the external drive or being stolen. But now there is a new solution which is called Transcend Jet Drive Lite 330. Basically it's a tiny SD card that will fit perfectly your SD card slot on your MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inches. The Jet Drive Lite 330 is a little storage drive that was specifically designed for Apple MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inch and all MacBooks that have SD card readers. The main idea of this product is once inside your Mac it sits completely flush so there is no way of damaging it or losing it. You can keep this card inside your MacBook all the time and store all your big files on this tiny SD card without having to physically eject it every time you are finishing your work or shutting down your computer. Once installed, it becomes a permanent part of your MacBook. The 1TB version I decided to purchase cost around 170 euros, so it's way cheaper than purchasing additional 1TB storage from Apple. It exists in different size options like 256 or 512GB. They are even cheaper. While using this Jet Drive SD card, you can just shut down your MacBook and throw it in your bag. How cool is that? This little SD card is a game-changing accessory for all MacBook users. Now let's talk about the speed of data transfer and performance. Obviously it will be much slower than your internal MacBook SSD drive, but in real-time conditions you will not be able to feel any difference. For example, for the purpose of this video I'm running a virtual machine of Windows 11 from my Jet Drive Lite 330. And as you can see, there are no lags or issues. I can even run games from this little SD card. As you can see, everything is running pretty smoothly without any freezes or bugs. The Jet Drive Lite 330 offers read speeds up to 95 megabytes per second and write speed up to 75 megabytes per second to unlock all the power of your MacBook. It is ideal for time machine backups, iTunes libraries and everything in between like simple file storage. Of course, while transferring some really huge files it will be way slower than the internal SSD on your Mac, 
but how many times are you actually doing that? You can use this tiny card as a storage place to keep all your large files and videos to free up your super speedy internal SSD drive. That's actually my strategy. That's what I'm doing. I'm keeping on this little jet drive all my music, photos and video libraries. I'm also storing my Parallels Windows 11 virtual machine on this jet drive 330. I just want to always have my virtual Windows 11 PC on my Mac. My Windows 11 virtual machine size is more than 250 gigabyte, so I don't want to waste my internal storage just for occasional usage of Windows 11 or occasional gaming. Also, I'm using this SD card to store my iPhone backups. By the way, I also made a video on how to save your iPhone backup to an external drive. Check it out if you're interested. So guys, this little 1TB SD card is a huge upgrade to my MacBook Pro 16 for a relatively low price. The only downside of using the Jet Drive 330 is that your SD slot will be constantly occupied. Personally, on my MacBook, anyway, I'm never using my SD card reader, so at least it will become a little more useful. Using this SD extension card will allow me to use my MacBook for another couple of years without updating it to a newer model. So in the end, it even saves me some money. Just one important point worth mentioning before ending this video. You should not format any SD card using the APFS file system format. SD card is not an SSD drive and it will not offer you any extra speed for using the Apple file system. If you will use the APFS format in your Jet Drive 330, it will become very slow. Just simply format it using macOS Journal or XFAT and it will offer you the best speed and performance. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube. Bye-bye.